everyone welcome back to the channel and once again welcome back to Barca time so yesterday La Liga was back for FC Barcelona and surely Barca picked things up exactly where they left it before the international break winning and winning in style against Sevilla you know Sevilla is one of the traditional giant in this La Liga football but yesterday they looked like they never had a chance in front of Hansa Flick, Barcelona, in front of football club, Barcelona yesterday, cruising them with a 5-1 win against them. And two goals from, you know who, Robert Lewandowski. And also two goals from Pablo Torre in just 20 minutes. This guy is proving himself why he will be a key player for Barcelona this season. And of course, Pedri Gonzalez also scored to make a huge win for Barcelona. And what got the most exciting atmosphere in the stadium was Gavi's return after many days. Gavi finally returned to the pitch once again. There is a lot to discuss here about different Barca players and news. So now, let's begin. And now, after 335 days, let me say almost a year, Gavi got injury. Yesterday, Barca versus Sevilla. Gavi, our warrior, finally returned to the pitch once again. And our fellow coolers in the stadium got very much excited for seeing Gavi back once again to the team to help and fight for Barca to achieve many trophies this season. And let's feel that moment with fans chanting Gavi's name at the time he did stood up to warm up. <laughs> So guys, that was how fans in the stadium were very much excited with Gavi's return and started chanting his name. So after the game, Gavi also did have an interview with movie stars and that is why you can see it here from Fabrizio Romano with Gavi saying that I'm very happy to return after long. I had been dreaming about this moment for months. The Western has been not been able to be with the team. It has become very difficult to watch the game from outside. So that was where the from Gavi with his return yesterday against Sevilla. And let me tell you, Gavi, now you will not be watching the game from outside but instead you will feed the game itself so guys the picture you are seeing on the screen tells everything about the reason why yesterday eric garcia was replaced by ansu Fati because yesterday during warm-up for the match against sevilla garcia got injury and that's why ansu Fati started ahead of him but today according to mundo deportivo they made a statement here that eric garcia is ruled out for the match against Bayern Munich, but will be there in time for the el clasico against Real Madrid. So that is the reason why yesterday Garcia was removed from the um, lineup and was replaced by Ansu Fati or because he was injury during the warm up. But what is excited here is Garcia who only miss one game and that game is against Bayern Munich on Wednesday that is the Champions League. And now guys a lot of you might be confusing why am I showing you this picture here is USA and in USA where is this place? This place is Miami because there is an increasing report here that La Liga is working on hosting the Barcelona versus Atletico Madrid fixture in Miami in December 22nd. You know, December 22nd, Barca is supposed to play a home game against Atletico Madrid and that is what La Liga is working on this time around. Barca will go to US with Atletico Madrid to play La Liga match there in USA in Miami. But let's wait and see what the outcome will be. Barca have already approved it. Atletico Madrid have also approved it. La Liga right now working on that to happen. But FIFA will have the final say. So let's wait for the final result whether that will happen or not. And now guys ending the video here with Frankie Dion. You know yesterday Barcelona versus Sevilla. Frankie did not get a single minute and that is why Hansa Flick is explaining the reason why Frankie did not get a single minute. Many of you thought his injury or something like that and that is why you can see it here from Fabrice Romano that Frankie Dion has no injury only discomfort the plan was for frankie to start but he felt some discomfort on friday he was feeling better today but not ready to start he was an option of the bench so flake is saying that frankie is not injury only 
discomfort that Frankie Dion is having. And when it comes to signing Jonathan Tah from Bayer Ufford Vakunsen, according to Matthew Moreto, that Barcelona is ahead of Real Madrid in the race to sign Jonathan Tah because Barca can take an advantage of their good relationship with its player agent. And this player's agent is Penny Zahavi. And you and I know a good relationship between Barcelona and also agent Penny Zahavi, who's also an agent for Robert Lewandowski. And that's all for today, guys. Please do well and subscribe, like this video for more Barcelona updates like this. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. But until then, Vesca Barca, Vesca Catalunya.